Hi everyone. I hope you've had a great day. For tonight, we're going to go back to our beginner's Bible. And where we left off last time is page 351. A Fisherman's Net. Jesus told a story one day. He said, some fishermen took their boat out. They threw their net in the water. All kinds of fish swam in the lake. When the fishermen returned to shore, they dragged their nets out of the water. They looked through their catch, said Jesus. They kept all the good fish and tossed all the bad fish out. Jesus said, the fisherman's net is like the ki God's kingdom. Everyone wants to be part of God's kingdom. But the angels will come and separate the godly people from the ungodly people. The godly people will live in heaven with me forever. Jesus feeds ten thousand feeds thousands. Jesus and his disciples were tired. They needed a quiet place to rest. So they got into a boat and pushed off from shore. A crowd followed the boat. Over five thousand people had come to see Jesus. Even though he was tired, Jesus wanted to help them. He climbed out of the boat, and he began to bless and heal many people. Later that day, the disciples said to Jesus, It is getting late. These people should go home and eat dinner. Jesus replied, We can feed them. See if anyone has any food to share. The disciples found one boy. He had five loaves of bread and two small fish. Jesus said, bring the boy to me. Do you think five loaves of bread and two fish are going to feed 5,000 people? Let's see. I bet Jesus can make it work. The disciples asked, how will so little food feed so many people? Jesus said, you will see. Have the people sit down. Then Jesus took the bread and he gave thanks to God. His disciples gave bread and fish to everyone. To their surprise, there were 12 baskets were left over. 12 baskets is more than they even started with. Jesus walks on water. Jesus told his disciples to go on ahead of him. Then Jesus walked up a mountainside to pray. Storm clouds filled the sky. Jesus could see the disciples in the boat. They were having trouble. The wind swished and the waves sloshed. The boat was tossed about. Suddenly, the disciples saw someone walking on the water toward them. They thought it was a ghost. Who do you think's walking on the water? Jesus called out to them, It is I. Do not be afraid. The disciples still weren't sure. Peter said, If it is really you, Jesus, let me walk out to you. Jesus replied, Come. Peter stepped out of the boat and began walking on the water toward Jesus. Then Peter looked at the wind and the waves, and he became afraid. Suddenly he started to sink. Lord, save me! 
Peter cried out. Jesus reached out and pulled Peter up. Why didn't you trust me, Jesus asked Peter. They climbed into the boat and the storm stopped. The disciples worshipped Jesus. They said, truly, you are the Son of God. The next story is called, Jesus Heals a Blind Beggar. Jesus and his disciples saw a blind beggar. He had been blind since he was born. The disciples said to Jesus, Teacher, did this man sin or did his parents? Is that why he is blind? No one sinned, said Jesus. This happened so that God's work could be shown in his life. Then Jesus spit on the ground and made mud out of it. With his hands, he gently spread the mud on the blind man's eyes. Then Jesus told the man, Go to the pool of Solemn and wash off the mud. As soon as the mud was washed off, the man could see. Everyone was amazed. They wanted to find out more about Jesus. The next story is called Money in a Fish. It was time to pay the temple tax. This money was used to fix up the temple. Remember, we've said a temple is a, like a church. One day, some tax collectors said to Peter, Jesus does not pay the temple tax, does he? Peter replied, of course he does. Before Peter could ask Jesus what to do, Jesus told him, even though I am the son of God, I will pay the tax. Go fishing. Take the first fish you catch. Look in its mouth and you will find a coin. Take it and give it to the tax collector. It will pay for my tax and yours. Peter caught a fish. He opened its mouth and found a coin inside. It was exactly enough to pay the tax collector. I have to say, I don't think I've ever heard that story. So we're going to stop right there. The next story when we come back is the story of the Good Samaritan. I know most of you have heard that story. So I hope that you've all had a great day and um, you are enjoying that extra daylight that we have outside now from um, daylight savings and setting our clocks ahead. So let's pray. Dear God, thank you for the day that we had. Thank you for all the food we have. Thank you for all the things you give us. And watch over us tonight as we sleep. Amen. Peace be with everyone.